Well, GB News can reveal now that authorities are deeply concerned about the potential for serious disorder at their migrant processing centre in Kent. And joining me now is GB News' Home and Security Editor, Mark White, who is at RAF Manston. And yes, like I said, GB News can reveal that authorities are deeply concerned about the potential for serious disorder at a migrant processing centre. Mark White, great to have you on the show, especially at the top of it, which is exactly where you belong. What's the latest, please? Well, the violence here at Manston Air Base is now a daily occurrence here. It's due to overcrowding. It's due to the fact that many migrants from different countries are mixing together and, frankly, they don't get on. And also a new change in demographics, which is the Albanian factor. Most of those arriving here are now from Albania. A few, if any, would ever qualify for asylum in future. Uh, and most the vast majority don't want to be here in the first place. They want to toggle off and actually work in the illegal economy, or more worrying still, according to the authorities, they want to go off and work for criminal gangs. Uh, and that violence I've been talking about, we were told that on Monday night alone, there were seven separate incidents that authorities here had to deal with. I was speaking to one local farmer uh, just uh, before this live who said that every day he hears the sounds of fighting uh, within the camp and the police are called here constantly to deal with that. And the real concern is it isn't just sporadic uh, and low-key fights within the camp, but it actually becomes something much more serious and widespread, something like we saw at Napier Barracks over a year ago when overcrowded in that particular barracks at a time of COVID. Uh, those uh, particular residents got very angry and rioted and set fire to the barracks itself. Well, the independent chief inspector of borders, a chap called David Neal, has been backing up the concerns that I've been hearing here at Manston in evidence that he gave to the Home Affairs Select Committee this morning. This is what he told them about a visit he paid to the base just this Monday. There's of the order of um, nearly two and a half thousand people who were being guarded by non-trained detainee custody officers. So they're being guarded by a mixture of immigration enforcement um, officers and security guards. It was sufficiently alarming when, when I discovered that. I was, I was frankly speechless. are concerned. Clearly the base is designed for a maximum of 1,500 asylum seekers at any, any one time. They're only supposed to be here for one, two days maximum before they're processed out. But because of the numbers arriving over the channel, they're just not able to process them quickly enough. And that's why we have a situation at the moment where double the capacity is being housed here. Uh, and they're being housed here for many weeks. They're in marquees of about 150 in each marquee, some of them just lying on cardboard on the floor, which is adding to the tensions. It is a real headache again as part of the overall small boats crisis that the new Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, has got to grapple with.